What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John, with the Amity here. Welcome back to another episode of the Saga Lock. Hopefully, y'all are having a splendiferous day. Today, 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 and, uh, I don't know, today, we are going to be dealing with and taking on our very first team star, a doodle, Grunt. Um, so let's ring that bell. Ring in the bell, so that way we can do our thing. Are you ready to challenge Team Star using the first three Pokemon in the party? Yes. Because we adjusted that, I believe, and made sure that our first three Pokemon were the Pokemon we wanted here. Dang, this music. Careful now, John. Team Star has a unique way of doing battle. Uh-oh. They call it Star Barrage. Get through it. You'll need to, to get through it, you'll need to use the R button and send out multiple Pokemon that you have on them uh, and have them battle at the same time. If your Pokemon get low on health, come back here and heal them up. I'll heal them up for you. The grants you'll be facing will heal up their Pokemon too, so stay sharp out there. Beep, Kurtz. Heads up, gang. Someone jumped. Some jumped up kid has wandered into the, thinking he can raid our base. Clearly, he doesn't know who he's messing with. Let's teach him a lesson that he will never get. Our unwanted guest. If you can defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss might just honor you with an appearance. Oh, boy. Send your Pokemon out with the R button and try to set defeat a set number of Team Star's Pokemon before time runs out. When you're taking on the challenge of Star Barrage, you can only have three Pokemon out at the same time. You lose in Star Barrage if all your Pokemon get too worn out to battle or if time runs out. Uh, if one of your Pokemon can no longer battle, you can help it recover by using the vending machine. Uh, that's all Bisharps, so we can probably let Whale about. But it's like, what do we mess with or how do we mess with this? Okay, that looks like it's all stunky. Oh, okay, they got recalled to me. This is sketch, dude. I don't like this. I really don't like this. I don't like how, like... This could literally be like Demise City here. And like you don't know where half of your party is. And so it's just like, are they alive? Are they doing okay? Thank goodness the answer is yes because we have a team that's, I guess, seems... Suited for this, but like, okay, these Zoroa gets taken out by Squidward easy. And everybody's at full health, like, so like, again, it looks like it's fine. Okay, we need Whale about. Uh oh. Oh, I saw a, a blue, like, heart, or looking heart thing, and it was not a heart. Thank gosh. Because that would have been the death of me if I would have seen that. Okay. Again, it's another one of those, luckily, this isn't randomized type moments. Where are you going, whale about? Whale about, what are you doing? 
Thank you. <laughs> My guy will. I was like, let me go all over the place. Wow. He's got to fight the boss now. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't get experience for like any of those fights, though. Boss of Team Star's Dark Crew. You've done a real number on us, Party Crasher. John, wasn't it? I, Gia Como, at the desk. I go by a DJ Vice. Call me whatever is a vibe either way. It's a vibe either way. Nice to meet you all. How about we skip straight to the outro? Or your outro. Don't worry. I'll play Sick Requiem so you can crash and burn. Let's get this party started. Azelf, what a great lead. Do we have access to all our Pokemon again, or am I still stuck with the top three? That is a big question. You really don't think this through, do ya? Okay, now we have access to our entire party once again. He's only got two Pokemon, so I shouldn't have to worry much. Uh, Coil. Okay, maybe I do still have to worry a little bit, but... Because I will not kill anymore. Yeah, no, not at all. Okay. I'm going to go with my gut, and my gut says go Nolan. Also, does that mean that typing matters then when it comes to the, the star crew? Oh, boy. Uh, who's faster? I want to say that the answer is me, right? But I also recall Azelf being pretty fast and nimble. You know what? Ice Fang can miss. And the bad word won't kill me. I do like Team Star's theme, though. Okay, so it high rolled. But that's still did 34. Dang! That's hitting hard. Okay. I was not ready for this to actually hit hard. Okay, can you miss one, please? See, see, it's a uh, again. I like when this music hits hard. I really love this as a not to hit hard. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's the max roll right there. Um. Uh, 60 would be a max roll of bad words. So, well, I gotta keep this, this stupid stall going, and I hate it. Oh, no! Why, 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 why? Okay, I mean, at least it's Trudy, and Trudy can take hits. I... Guess we're going the, uh... Wait, Trudy's faster than this? Oh, then Nolan's most definitely faster, and we could have killed this sooner. Oh! <laughs> I didn't need to stall. I didn't need to stall like that. That could have been so detrimental. I mean, I guess it's the safest route, but oh boy. Okay. Now, Curly has a mod I do not want out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's using Roar. It's using Roar. Roar is negative priority. I don't want to even risk Gwen's death. I'm not touching that with the nine foot pole.
I think I'm just gonna go for this and hope that Whale about just stays okay. Because, I mean, she should. She's full health. You know what? Fine. Do Keep doing that. Keep doing that. Hopefully you don't send out, like, Trudy. Trudy would be fine. Trudy would be okay. Nolan's even better. Literally anybody but Gwen is fine. Stop sending out Gwen, please. <laughs> Literally everybody else on my team can take a hit, from, uh, take an Ice Fang. Not Gwen. Straight up. Legit anything else would be totally fine. But, you know what? If you're going to play this route and just continue spamming Roar, I'm going to leave Seed. Of course. Really? Really? I mean, he was just spamming it. I knew everybody else on my team would take it fine except for Gwen. And you know what? I should have listened, but me listening, what is that? Okay, I guess now is the real time to see if all of this was in vain. Um. No, it wasn't. Okay. That makes me feel good. I needed to be... Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, Gwen's dead. But, I mean, I guess, you know... Gwen... The thing is about Gwen is Gwen was so close... To being a, uh... Uh-oh. Like, Gwen was so close. To being a, uh... Whoa. Sagan Starmobile. I'm fighting a car right now. Okay. I was not thinking I was going to be fighting a car today. Um, I thought punching cars was just not usually a good idea. I figured they'd hurt your hand. That's I had ice on my hand. Wicked torque. And it's level 20. That doesn't seem to be doing much more damage. Wow, that did nothing. That's great. Metal sound. Oh, God. Really? No. I can't. I don't trust the metal sound. Metal sound is a special defense lowering move. I'm going to go with Trudy on this one. Actually, Trudy has Scorching Sands. So Trudy might actually not be a bad play. Because maybe this thing can get burned. And then... Well, it was attacking my special defense. So I highly doubt that burn matters. Because here's the thing. Trudy isn't bad at this stage. So that's not necessarily what I'm worried about. Look at Torque. Urgh! Okay, I got a speed increase. Just don't metal sound me again. I'm I'm upset that Gwen's dead. I mean, I know who I'm adding, right? Like, at least that part is... I said... Oh, thank goodness. I was going to say, I'm like, I literally just said, don't do X, and it did X. Give me that burn. Burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn. No, you didn't. Get the burn. I guess I'm going to raise my special defense because I can. Oh, okay. 
Can we not? Metal sound, please. I want to use my, <laughs> my quiver dancing bigger rock to my damage. No, Whale about was doing so much more damage. I, the biggest thing is, like, I want to play defensive with her because I love Whale about a lot. Okay, that's it. It's a physical attack. Okay, then metal sound doesn't matter. Cool. Burn? No, we're not getting the burn, baby burns. I, I'm not a fan of that. Also, this car is fast AF. Because this car is literally... I mean, it's a car. I would hope it's faster, I guess, than a, a slack off. But... Like, the fact that we're not getting the burn. Okay. It's a, basically a 1 in 3 burn chance. Can we get it? Please? No. No, we cannot. Um. Gosh. Seeing Gwen gone. That's our first. That's our first actual uh, Scarlet Violet death, other than the one you guys killed. Aqua Step did something, at least. We just need to speed ourselves up. Are you, you get the status? I don't know what whatever move you're using's status chance is, but y'all got it. But no, 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 no. I can't get a. I cannot get a pretty much guaranteed one in three to pop off. After being used three times. It's fine, guys. I'm definitely not triggered. I don't even know what the chances on not burning is, but I, I'm i going to do the math on that. I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to do the math on that because I'm triggered about that. Okay, can we, like, actually win, though? After this battle, I want to see the chances on that. Okay, this is our fourth Scorching Sand. Can we get the burn? No! No, we cannot. Oh my goodness. Because it'd be one in three. It'd be one third, not one third to the fourth. It'd be, is it one third to the one third? One third to the one fourth power? I think it's how that would work. You finally hit a battle sound. Please. You've got to be kidding. Okay, we, we figured out metal sound does not matter because it's a special move. What is one third to the one sixth power? Point five. Is that really only 50%? There's no way. What is one third to the sixth power? That's not doing it right. I guess that. I guess that. And I guess that. Around over a year ago. Guess that's that. What's up? Gia Como, did something happen? Big Boss wanted me to take on some stuff. So we had to chat and settled on a few plans. A few plans? Like what? Operation Star, first of all. And also a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have joined up recently. Well, I figured we got to make up some team rules like a code so that we'll be all on the same page. Nice. You're up with a great code for us? Won't You'll come up with a great code for us. Uh, no, thanks. That's way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be president of the student council, but you know everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Of 
course we know. You forced a ton of stuffy rules on everyone, and they wouldn't take it. We got some other nerd to replace you after, like, five minutes. I cannot help but concur. Male students' hair must stay no further than 1.8 inches below the nape, and so forth. Your rules were vexation made manifest. My point exactly. So you all agreed that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code. But you always know what's best for the team, Giocomo. You look out for us. You have decided to trust m many... Uh, you've earned our trust many times over. Without you, Team Star wouldn't work. Yo, that stuck-up student council prez isn't who you are anymore, man. A code written by Giocomo I'm looking at now. I'd follow any day. As uh, as would I. Okay, okay. Thanks for the ego boost, everyone. But I'll, I'll, I'll write up a darn code. I did the best I could. I wrote the code myself, and there's no going back on it now. My days of boss are over. Here, take my star badge, would ya? I'll give you this choice TM, too. You've earned it fair and square. I'm rolling my eyes, because if I would have just been able to click foul play, I would have dealt with that. Zelf and Glad wouldn't have died. But that's fine. It's chill. I'm not triggered. So that's how this party ends. But let's talk about those Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong, huh? You've learned the trainer chops of, at the academy. Like, what moves and stuff? Sure did. Okay, you like it at the academy, having fun? I'm having, I'm enjoying it. No kidding. Sorry to interrupt you, but are you Giacomo? Whoa, I wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. You get a Quaxwell to style that up for ya? I'm just after a quick word, wouldn't mind. Sure, I can tell you something annoying, but I can't. I can tell it's going to be something annoying, but I guess it's a newly freed up time. I'm newly freed up for time. Thanks. I'll get it straight. It seems like you and Team Star are headed for expulsion if you keep up your current activities. So why don't you just break up the team and start attending class at the Academy one again? That's what you want to know? As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal, though we don't know if they'll be coming back. A pal? Close friend of yours, are they? They're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like, how there's a top champion who's absolutely number one trainer, you know? They're the ones who invited us, other bosses, to form the team that we call them the Big Boss. And where the Big Boss... And where's this Big Boss of yours now? Wouldn't we like to know? We haven't heard from them. And I don't know. Must have been a year and a half now. Thought, I thought that if we kept Team Star going, then they'd be back in touch one day. But the teachers are pressing us to call it quits. And then, if we get the party crashers like you two... Maybe the big boss did ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So Team Star and the big boss of yours are really important to you. <laughs> is the sky blue? Let me put it into words you eggheads at the academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure. Bro, toe, 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 toe. John, it is me. Seems like Giacomo no longer carries the star badge, the symbol of his status as a boss. He gave it to you, did he? I see. With the, its boss out of the picture, the Sagan squad is pretty much done for. Oh, Giacomo. Sorry, I got caught up in my thoughts for a second. Now, about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. 5,000 life points. You can now make TMs using the TM. You can make more kinds of TMs from the TM machine. I took the liberty of adding new entries to the range of TMs you can make at the TM machines. These new TMs should help you improve your Pokemon's battle capabilities even further. In any case, you did a solid work out there. So much that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply will, unit will be there soon to give you materials making TMs.
Hello. I I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot and by the stairs. I was glad to help. Ah, oh, so you do remember. But, um, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall as part of my independent studies, you know? The treasure hunt. I'm good with the machines and hacking into stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. So, here you go. A bonus reward from Cassiopeia. You got lots of Pokemon materials. Should be able to make tons of TMs with those. And Cassiopeia said that you'll get more rewards each time you take on one of the star bases. Also, I um heard all about you and had your Pokemon charge into battle. Seems like you were pretty amazing. With a trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bases left. Good luck. Bye, Penny. Unfortunately, we had a freaking death, and I'm mad about it. But bye, Penny. There's literally pommies here. There's literally the the embodiment of joy is what they were saying. Um, weasels. Oh, it's a different day. It's nighttime. I've been recording in the daytime a lot, so I, in my head, I'm like, oh, we're not missing much, are we? Yes, um, actually, we are. There's a whole another selection of Pokemon at nighttime. Oh, that was a asleep Pokemon. Oh, Sinistee. Okay, we do know Sinistee has been around, so that's fine. Um, So my plan is to go to this Pokemon Center. So that way, well, one, we can get our freaking new Pokemon to the squad. And two... Oh, Riolu. Okay, I was like, bruh. Nope, it's just your standard Riolu. Okay, we cannot. We do not want to fight this Stardust. That's the Starfall base. I do not know why we went the way that we did to do this, but we did. It's fine, everybody. We're not all crazy. No, we totally are. That's the point. Um, But yeah, we're going to go to this area because if we end up healing here... This is Cascarapa, the water gym area. So, unfortunately, we have to deposit our girl. Oh, this is the mart. Don't we have access to the boxes? Like, no way about get back here. I just thought about it. We literally have straight up access to the box immediately. If I can figure out the buttons. Bag. Nope. It's boxes. Huh. I do not know what to add. Okay, actually, I'm joking. Uh, Katie was our first official death. Um. A lot of me wants to add Boomy. A lot of me does want to add Boomy. It gives us a, uh. A fire. Oh no, I guess it's the second fire type though. I was looking into something and I can't remember. Oh yeah, what level does Cubchoo evolve? What level does Cubchoo evolve? I want to say it's like thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. That's our problem. So it's like, do we go with a Pokemon? Evil Mickey would be funny, but. Evil Mickey doesn't evolve yet. <laughs> um, Mike wouldn't be bad. Because doesn't that evolve at like 30? What level does Zoroa evolve? 30. Um... Or I can... You know what? I haven't been doing this lately, and I really should be. I think we're going to risk it for the biscuit. Honestly, we might as well.
And I, I definitely need to go through. Whoa. Got a gimme gold coin. This is the TM machine. What can we do? I want a TM made. Okay, yeah, we definitely have a lot more that we can make. Low kick, not really in my best interest. Acid spray would be cool. Draining kiss would be interesting too, but we don't have the access to that. Stored power. You know what? I want to know what how to do that because freaking that would make slacking a power house if we can get something like power up punch or something like that bulk up oh, i can't learn it i was really helpful i was like oh bulk up that'd be even better but no can't do that okay Anyways, uh, heal. I didn't heal it. Nurse Dwight. Yeah, we're risking it for the biscuit. Because why not at this point? I feel like risking it for the biscuit would be fun. Your team is all better now. Well, I'm, I'm glad, but... Yeah, that's the water gym. We cannot take on that gym yet. Could we make it that way, though? And take out or do the desert? And no, we, we're going to play that safe. Yeah, I'm playing it safe. It's it's me. We have to play it safe. Let's be let's be perfectly honest with ourselves. It's me. If we weren't playing it safe, that'd be weird. Anyways, let's go to area two and get our encounter here. We might as well at this point. Um, we already have some editing that we got to do. And again, I felt, I feel like, oddly enough, feel like risking it for the biscuit. Which I know is not normal me things to do, but. I don't know. I feel like at some point we are going to have to do it. game ah it's you we went through this already Oh, shoot, we didn't go through this already. Hi, I'm sorry I skipped so much text. Some of their bullying caused worrying a number of students to drop, to drop out. <laughs> Say they hold up in their bases, plotting to cause trouble for the academy. But there are rumors that ma at the matter that I am directly confronted with is someone else. I'm talking about Team Star's president, Truancy. They've all been skipping class for a while now. Five of them in particular, so-called bosses of teams, are upset but inside a classroom for over a year. And it seems like the team's rank and file have recently started stirring up mischief as well. That's why I took it upon myself to issue a direct order to Team Star to disband. I informed them that they should they refuse, I would have no choice but to expel all the students affiliated with their team. 
but I'm afraid there's been no response, and the deadline I set for them to make their choice between dis disillusion and expulsion is nigh upon us. So you see, I overheard you talking on the phone with Cassiopeia. It couldn't have come at a more crucial t or a critical time. It's Cassiopeia. Can you hear me? Ark, whisper another time then. Whisper, whisper. Be careful. I see you are coming for up to on one of Team Star's bases. Was there someone with you just now? Well, be warned, Team Star. We'll have its guard up after losing one boss to you already. This base won't go down as easily as the last one. Proceed with extreme caution. I'll be in touch. Good thing I'm not taking it on. God, seeing all... Gosh, seeing all these Gwens. Am I not... Did this work? Please, please tell me it worked. No, it didn't. Whoa! Who are you? Oh, I fell. But... <laughs> oh my gosh. Can I... Can I not? <laughs> I need to be able to swim. That's what I really need to be able to do, apparently. No, I don't want to take on Mila. Bro, there's a Volcarona here. I could have had Volcarona. Okay, there's got to be like a place that I can cross over. Or, you know, we just learned Surf. That would be great too. But, no, that would be too easy. Nope. Map. There we go. Yeah, so this is like the star base, dude. What am I missing? Oh my gosh. I do I really I I don't want to take her on. I'm not high enough level. She this gym badge is a lower level than this girl. So like why would I take on the the the, the what? Maybe I just have to take out the star. A triple to Dunspire. So maybe I just have to take out. There's a pour out here too. My goodness. Again, I don't want to take her on. I'd prefer not to. Oh, you know what? Okay, well, it's looking like I'm going to have to unfortunately deal with and take her on. Unless it counts as maybe that. 
now. Now that I've touched to the ground, maybe? No. Okay. Well, we'll catch you all next time. Oh, wait. No. Yeah, we'll catch you all next time. Uh, I don't want to take this thing on yet. We're not ready. Love you. Bye.